Welcome back to those of you who joined us for our initial one hour webinar on this topic. And there might be a bit of crossover from the, that short introduction, but now I'll be expanding on the main points in this longer presentation. Um, hopefully giving you a sense of an even clearer sense of how you can apply these aspects to your own work, these aspects of archetypal music psychotherapy and, um, and psychoanalysis and music oriented psychoanalysis and how to apply these to your practice, you know, your clinical practice um, or the practice you plan to have if you're in training or even to your life, even, even in your life. I noticed something even as I was walking here to my office to uh, give this presentation. I, I noticed something that I guess I've noticed before, but it kind of came in a clearer sense to me that um, sometimes I just close my eyes. You probably do this too. Um, close my eyes and I, I listen in to the, the richness of the information, the alive information that exists in the acoustic world alone. You know, the acoustic channel, the sonic sound oriented channel. Um, to tune into that is really what we're talking about. Um, how to tune into that, why to tune into that, what's there for us, and actually also about the rivalry for our attention.